Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we're going to make a five stage ladder process and it looks awesome. Let's waste no time and get right into it. Step one, set up the ladder process infographic. All right, so the first thing you guys wanna do is you wanna make the segments that connect the ladders, right? To do that, we're gonna to go to insert, click on shapes, and then we're gonna click on this rectangle over here. We're gonna make a rectangle that's kind of thin, right? But a little tall. So something like this is absolutely fine. Then we're gonna to go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on a circle and draw a circle that aligns its height to this rectangle, right? Something like this. Make sure it's kind of fat as well. So something like this, right? Make sure both of these shapes don't have an outline and color the circle a different color, any color you want for now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move the circle over here, just like this, and I'm gonna click on this rectangle, then click on the circle, go to format, merge shapes, and then click on subtract. I'm gonna duplicate this shape that we just made just here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to home, arrange, rotate, and then flip horizontal and move that to the right until we get something that looks like this. Yep, that looks great. So I'm going to go to format, merge shapes, click on union. I'm gonna make this thinner that you, like you see over here, maybe a bit shorter as well. All right, that looks great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to insert, click on shapes, and then I'm gonna click on this circle over here and just draw out a circle like this, right? Now don't worry about sizing and positioning, we'll fix all that up later, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna rotate this just like that, bring it over here. In fact, we can rotate it just a bit more. Yeah, there we go, that looks great. So I'm just gonna color this in a different color so we know the difference between the two shapes. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna group those two guys up, I'm gonna duplicate it, bring it down, go to home, arrange, rotate, flip, horizontal and then bring that up just like this. Just make sure we have some sort of distance between the two. Yep, all right, that looks great. So with that done, what we're going to do now is just replicate the process. So we're gonna click on both of these guys here, just bring it down like this. Just like that. And um, we're going to actually delete some shapes now. So let's ungroup everything, right? The good thing about this technique is that you can go up to six stages, seven stages, it doesn't matter, three stages. But as long as you recognize that this is the, the, the technique that you can do in order to get this shape, you can play around with it as much as you want. So I'm gonna be deleting this one and this one and this one. And there we go, there is our uh, five stage ladder process, at least the basis of it. But we're not done just yet. What we have to do now is go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this little circle hollow effect that we have over here. And we're just gonna draw it out like this. I'm gonna zoom in like that, make it thinner, like this, maybe just a bit wider. Yeah, a bit bigger actually. Make it white and click on no outline. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is aligned as perfectly as it can be. And we're gonna do the same thing for all of them. So one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. All right, cool, there we go, it looks awesome. Just make sure that this one's aligned because it looks a bit wonky. Same with this one. Perfect, all right, so that is the basis of our ladder step shape effect thing. So I'm gonna be using these colors over here to color our little infographic in. So um, let's start off with this one, being colored like this, and this one, 
being colored like this and this one being colored like this and this one being colored like this and of course this one being colored like that. Whoops. There we go. And uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to color in our little segments connecting them, right, into a darker shade of the previous color. So I'm going to click on this, for example. I'm going to click on the green that we just made. And then I'm going to go to Shape Fill, More Fill Colors, and then drag this little black arrow down to get a darker shade of the same color that we had. And click OK. I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. So this over here is going to be fill color is darker as well and this one over here it's also going to be darker and this one over here is also going to be darker mm -hmm. all right awesome all right that looks good so i'm just going to delete these guys here, I'm gonna highlight everything, click on group, let's go to align, arrange center, align, and align middle. Boom. All right, perfect. And that is the first step completed. Step two, add the text. All right, so we're gonna go to insert, click on text box over here, and just draw the text box over here and type in 01. We're gonna change the font to a font that I really like called Love Low Black and uh, we're going to center it and we're going to blow it up i think that looks fine i'm going to bring it over here right i'm just going to ungroup this shape so that we can align better so that looks good let's bring it to the left a bit like this and what we're also going to do is we're going to go to insert click on shapes and then just draw the line like this right and uh I'm going to make the weight of this line around 2.25 points. I'm going to color it in with this color over here. And then I'm going to go to insert, click on text box and just draw out box that looks like this. I'm going to paste in some gibberish. Obviously, this is where you put in your own text. And uh, I'm going to change the font size to around 12 and change the font. Oh, the font's already source sans pro. All right, that looks great. So I'm going to bring that down a bit as well, right? Now I wanna make sure everything is aligned as best as possible. So I'm gonna to go to arrange, align, align, middle, just like that. And let's just bring that to the right a bit. There we go. All right, so we can now repeat the process for these two guys over here, the purple and the yellow circle. So I'm just gonna group up everything. And I'm going to bring that down like this. Maybe one more over here, just like that. I'm gonna make this 03 and I'm gonna make this one 05. And uh, I'm going to bring in this guy to the left like this. I'm also going to go to arrange, rotate, and then flip horizontal like that, right? Bring that over here, just like that. Bring it down. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it up. I know what you guys are thinking. So I'm going to align this to the right like that. And uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to move this one to the right a bit as well. Make this 02. Bring it down like this. And align it as best as possible as well. So I'm going to bring that up a bit. And this one 04. Look how cool that looks. Really easy to make, eh? So we're going to change the uh, colors of all the lines so they match. I'm going to ungroup everything. So this one's going to be purple. This one's going to be yellow. This one's going to be red. And this one's going to be blue. Just like that. All right, cool. So I'm going to duplicate this two over here, bring it all the way here, align it to the right. And I'm just going to type in five stages, just like that. I'm going to draw it out like this. Maybe bring it down a bit like this. All right, cool. 
And uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to replicate this little circle effect that we have over here just underneath the title. Um, so I'm going to duplicate one circle just like this. I'm going to make it really small like that. Zoom in a bit, make that a bit smaller. And we're going to make five copies just like this. I'm going to highlight everything, go to arrange, align, and then distribute horizontally. Actually, I think that we can make these a bit smaller. Yeah, that looks fine. Range of line, distribute horizontally. And we can color these guys in now. Boom. Look how cool that looks, guys. Looks amazing. We have one more step to do, so don't go anywhere. Step three, add the icons. All right, so I'm gonna be using these icons that you see right over here. Let me just bring these to the left a bit and then change them to white so you can see them. Now, obviously these icons are just placeholders for your icons. If you do not know how to bring in customizable icons, and I say customizable because these guys can be colored in, they can add an outline, you know, you can do whatever you want with them. If you don't know how to bring these icons into your PowerPoint slide, or you don't have the insert icons button like I do on your PowerPoint software, then please click on the info button on the top right corner of this video, or there's a link in the description where you can bring in any icon, and I mean any icon that you want onto your PowerPoint slides that are fully customizable. And I'll show you three ways how you can do that. But for right now, we're just gonna be using these three guys over here. So I'm gonna be bringing this money icon over here, placing it in the middle, making sure it's in the middle as well. And we're going to do the same thing with this little graph icon over here. Now, obviously, we're going to go by, you know, roughly placing them in the middle and adjusting as necessary. So, like, for example, this one, what I can do is I can just highlight all three, go to home, arrange, align, align center, align middle. And we can do the same thing for all of them. And there we go, we're done. Look how great that looks and look how easy it was to make. We just used a few basic shapes and we made an awesome ladder step infographic. That's all for this week. If you like this video, please do consider giving it a like, you know, and sharing it with your friends, maybe providing me with a comment in the, in the comment section below. Also, please visit slackout.com. There's a ton of knowledge there. I have blog posts, I have tutorials, I have the Slackout toolkit, which you might wanna check out as well. You know, it's, it's all said and done. We're good to go from that end. I will see you guys next week. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.